Alhamisi saa tatu asubuhi mhubiri Ezekiel Odero chini ya ulinzo maafisa wa DCI aliwasili katika kituo cha makao makuu ya DCI eneo la Pwani kaunti ya Mombasa kujiwa kuhusu madai ya mahusiano yake na mauaji ya shaka hula. Commissioner wa eneo la Pwani Roda Onyancha akisema kuwa mhubiri Ezekiel Odero amekamatwa na kikosi cha pamoja cha maafisa usalama siku moja baada ya kujiwa kuhusiana na uhusiano wake na mhubiri Tata Paul Mackenzie aliyehusishwa na mauaji ya watu 95 kufikia sasa This morning we have arrested Pastor Ezekiel Ombok Odero of the New Prayer Center and Church at Mavueni in Kilifi County on allegations of the deaths that have been occurring at his premises and reported in various uh, mocks or institutions. Tari kanisa la mubiri Ezekiel Odero New Life Prayer Center limefungwa kutokana na kile kinacho daiwa kuwa vifo vimekuwa vikitokea katika kanisa hilo na kuripotiwa katika baadhi ya makafani. We've also taken action and closed down the prayer center going forward. So we are arching and giving information to the public that that prayer center has been closed down and whoever was in there has been cleared out. He is being, being, is being brought to Mombasa and I will request that as time goes by, we will be giving you updates as we progress with investigation. It's fine, it's okay, it's cooperating with them and uh, we are waiting for them to tell us what they are deciding to do. Hii najiri ukufu kwaji wa mele kutoka shambani katika msitu wa shakahola ukiendelea. Because it involves children very very young children children that who cannot make decisions of their own it is either the parents or other people adults who make uh, such a decision for them children have died and many men of them they have died out of not uh, decision of their own tayari serikali kupitia waziri wa usalama wa ndani kithuri kindiki imetangaza kuwepo kwa kafyu ambayo itadumu kwa siku 30 kuanzia saa 12 jioni hadi saa 12 asubuhi but we are very concerned that the government has decided to shut shakohola all that place and put a cafe for 30 days what is the motive of the security to do such a thing like that we suspect probably Out of those graves probably they are graves of um, alleged terrorists um, which were buried maybe two, three years ago. Now if they unearth and the DNA prove that these um, skeletons don't belong to the church, so it will raise a lot of question. Unless the government tells us why they are shutting media, civil society and all other players. This is a national concern and everybody is concerned, not only in Kenya but the whole world. 